Morgan. I was going to say about bloody time. <laughs> As the uh, TV companies have not employed me for uh, <laughs> 10 years, I will take that as a, a golden handshake. <laughs> I'm not going to thank anybody because I did it all on my own. <laughs> Good luck, Good luck, I have some one, one thing more before you go, sir. Thank you. Spike. Spike, uh, I'm sure everyone knows that you have fans from all walks of life, and of course, uh, there's one very, uh, very famous, very well respected fan in particular who wanted to be here, couldn't be here, but wanted to send a message. These for are you. a series of cliches you <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's my job this evening. <laughs> here we go, I have a letter to read out to you from His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales. Do um, I kneel down for this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in enough trouble already, I'm not going to say a word. And the Prince of Wales. Prince of Wales. I'm sorry I have to do this, for, but uh, I know it takes a, a lot of the impact out of it, but here we go. <laughs> As someone who grew up to the sounds of the Goon Show on the steam-driven wireless, I must confess that I've been a lifelong fan of the participants in the show, and particularly of Spike Milligan. Oh, the little grovelling bastard. <laughs> Particularly of Spike Milligan, whose wonderfully original humour has always reduced me to helpless hysterics. <laughs> it is cripples. <laughs> I know it people who have uh, been crippled in the wake of my humour. They're <laughs> <laughs> in hospital, crippled like this. <laughs> it is a. <laughs> <laughs> he loves you, Spike Milligan, ladies and gentlemen. Spike Milligan.